I am Viram and this is going to be incredible. We're already getting some insane matches just before of course we had K9 versus Salem. K9 sealing the set with that clutch back air from Wolf and now coming up next we have the Pac-Man Meister himself Sinji versus Zenyu with his Mario. Yeah this is a character specialist matchup here I don't think I've seen either of them pick another character with the exception of like Sinji going Diddy maybe five sets ever in Smash 4, mm -hmm. but I think here in Ultimate it's going to be all Pac-Man and all Mario from Zenyu, of course. Got a former PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale top player in Zenyu on the stage, by the way. For oh, those wow. of you guys who didn't know that little bit of trivia, yeah, uh, he and DeBuzz used to run house back then. I definitely remember DeBuzz, but Zenyu's new to me anyway. Starting off on PS2, as per usual, the new starter stage. Starter Stadium. And here we go, we've got the Hydrant in play from Sinji already, just drawing that line in the sand between the two players, saying, you can't go past this point without either jumping or trying to swing on it, and that can make your approach angle very predictable. You see Sinji just camping behind it. Zenyu not sure how to interact exactly with the, uh, the Hydrant there. Yeah, it can be very, very tricky. Even though Mario has pretty good mobility all around, it can be a difficult task to get around the platform, particularly with how Sinji is placing himself kind of below and behind that platform as well to prevent the fireballs from coming in. Right, and also keep in mind, if you do want to hit the Hydrant away, you've got to smack it really hard. It has, you know, in Smash 4, it was like 13 health in this game, possibly a bit more to account for the 20% damage increase in singles. Mario, not the hardest hitting character out there. Yeah, he really needs to commit to a smash attack like his up smash, forward smash, maybe even that forward air to really break through the hydrant. That's what I was thinking. I want to see him punch it with fair. But either way, quite an even exchange between these two players. Only 20% between them right now. Sinji with stage control despite being at the percent deficit. And now Zenyu just going to bully his way into taking that away. And he's just throwing <laughs> fireballs at the hydrant. Not enough to knock it back into Sinji. That gives him time to get that Galaxian ready. And even when Zenyu has Sinji in the corner, he it feels like he can't really pressure him effectively. He's trying to work his way in past Hydra. He's trying to like bait out the fruit, but it's not really working out too well for him. Such a tight battle, but with this bell in hand, I'd give the edge to Sinji right now. Yeah, He's gonna have, have, one. have to find a way to combo into it or out of it. Yeah, one solid hit from that bell, and now it's gone, but one solid hit would of course mean a confirm to death. All right, the fair to nair, classic pressure from Pac-Man. He's still got the bell present, just throwing it down, keeping it in place, maybe trying to stop a roll from Zenyu to the center of the stage. Most likely. Oh, and Zenyu still just having so much trouble hitting the Hydrant away. All right, gonna chop his shield up with down air. Actually managed to connect the last hit, but it wasn't safe on hit as Sinji slips off of the neutral air, keeping the percents exactly even, 0.1% or 0 .1 lead for Zenyu just for a second there. Yeah, both players playing this very slow, very methodical, just trying to find the key opening. The Hydrant, not enough to take the stock just yet though. Zenyu thought he was safe on that platform, but Sinji had other plans for him. Oh, not even gonna pick the bell up, just goes straight for a down smash. Unfortunately, not gonna work. And Zenyu taking it by way of back throw, opening things up on a good note yeah, for excellent, SoCal. Excellent patience on the ledge by Zenyu, and now because he has this stock lead, he is the one that can afford to play this a lot more patiently, since he's going to need to find the stock quickly if he wants to equalize this. Oh, getting a couple early openings. Yes, Zenyu finally with an up air juggle, closes it out with back air, but Sinji's still on the ropes, stuck on this platform here. Finds his way down, but just into the clutches of Zenyu yet again. Yeah, we see Sinji using a lot less fruit play. He's trying to rely a little bit more on Pac-Man's normals, but Mario has such good frame data and such good ways around them that he's just taking damage because of it. Gonna just charge that bonus fruit behind the Hydrant, letting the water push him back. Takes center stage in an even bigger way. There we go, up air finally closing the door on Zenyu's first stock here. This is far from over though, with three stocks and a best of three set. Gonna see a lot of time for these players to adapt to each other. That indeed, now finally Sinji finding a few hits here and there, setting up the defense that he wants to. This time, uh, Zenyu cognizant of the Hydrant in place and the key incoming as well. Love the multiple angles that Sinji's able to cover for himself though. You see the Galaxian circling around. He picks it up with dash attack to cover just in front of him as well. And now, such complex traps Pac-Man's able to present. Look at the Hydrant still sticking around. Such a thorn in Zenyu's side, but maintaining a lead either way. 
said though, a very small one that has now diminished to almost nothing. Three and a half minutes left on the clock. I can definitely see this set approaching that uh, dangerous eight minute mark. Very true. Yeah, only three and a half left. We will see how it goes, but Sinji gonna come out on top of this stock. Such an even battle between these guys. Oh, and all that damage, 40 off of, oh my god. The projectiles just all linking to each other so well. Multiple hits and everything. And now that Sinji has the lead, he's the one that can force Zenyu to come to him. He's the one that can maintain the pace. And that's honestly what's going to be the critical dynamic throughout this set. Who is able to get that lead and who's able to stick to it? Sinji using that new mechanic, picking up the apple and then charging it even further to continue cycling through the fruit and other items. Right now, though, this lead looking so rough for Zenyu. Once you're down a stock against Pac-Man, it can get really rough, especially when he comes out with a huge opening gambit, like that 40% string you saw from Sinji. Not to mention, of course, being able to cover multiple angles thanks to the Hydrant and a combination of the uh, the bell as well. It's really, really difficult for Zenyu to get around everything. The key, not quite enough just yet. Oh, such a good setup. Scaring Zenyu into his shield in the corner there. Just gonna pick up a grab. The cape, though, Good answer to the Hydrant, and of course, most of Pac-Man's projectiles will you know, send them just right back at him. Some of them go in a funky angle, though. Yeah, definitely kind of weird to predict at times. Then you still having a little bit of trouble finding this stock, and ooh, the Hydrant's coming out from Sinji enough to take it for the two-stock finish. Yeah, Sinji gonna find that stock first, closing it out with two remaining. Now going to this next game, I feel like Zenyu's real objective here is to keep the pressure on. Has to prevent Sinji from getting any space to throw a Hydrant down, to charge his fruit up enough to get a favorable coverage of angles. Just needs to stay in his face, use that roughly, I'd say slightly superior frame data, but Pac-Man has some really good buttons too. Frame three there, quick jab as well. Very quick forward air. Yes, That exactly. he can use, um, he can use an aerial such as forward air again, or a neutral air to uh, cover himself while he's in the air. Running it back to PS2, I'm surprised that Zenyu actually didn't pick a smaller stage to try to more easily get into Sinji's zone of control. If I'm Sinji, I probably took Castle Siege off the table. Yep. Castle and Siege and possibly Smashville. Yeah, or maybe a tri one of those two, I'd say. So maybe just this is the most comfortable of the stages remaining for Zenyu. Of course, like we said before, Starter Stadium. This is a, uh, a stage that so many people have just played their game ones on and might feel comfortable running it back to immediately. Sinji just hopping around the water. I feel like that Hydrant has been such a thorn in the side of Zenyu again. Wow, what a string coming out from Sinji once again. Making such fantastic use of that Galaxian ship. Just gonna charge the fruit on the platform. Tells Zenyu, hey, you gotta come to me and give the illusion of being in an unfavorable position, position above him on the platform, but it doesn't matter. Still gonna turn a bell into an up smash. Keep the damage rolling here. Oh, Sinji almost with another nasty extension. He is a magician sometimes with the way he sees all of these opportunities to get damage. Just gonna slide him off there with the forward tilt. Send you with the control. And we've seen what this guy's combos look like. He can turn one mere up air into a ton of damage, into a dunk, into some kind of juggle setup for an up smash, but he's having no such luck here against Sinji, who's just managed to keep the fight at bay the entire time. Sinji this time is Instead, it's the one with the juggles, and he's getting all of these bells. They're so, so crucial, and then making Zenyu lose his stops relatively early. And you see Zenyu struggling to get rid of the Hydrant in a single hit. Again, due to the lower damage output of Mario, Cindy responding, just countering and hitting with his own aerials to knock the Hydrant away in his favor. And Sinji at the moment just has so much control of the overall pace of the match. Zenyu really having a hard time just catching him, chasing him down, and hitting him with the moves that he needs to. Shake that pressure off with get up attack from the platform. Zenyu looking for a tech chase, just was not there. You see how dramatically the end lag on Pac Man's grab has been reduced. Zenyu going in for some punishes that just are not present. Yeah, Pac Man's grab very, very severely buffed in uh, this game comparative to Smash 4. Buffed and fixed, even. Right. No gaps. Mm hmm. Okay, we got the bell. Oh, Zenyu barely getting out of the way, slips off the platform. Yeah, very, very good for him to just quickly air dodge down. Put a stock down and then a ton of percent as well. This is not the position you want to be against a zoning based character like Pac Man here. And Mario, he's got decent rush down, but not the most explosive character, especially with the slight reduction of effectiveness of some of his combos. That said, he can definitely kill you a little bit earlier off of those ladders. So 
If we see Zenyu peel the stock off here, he could reverse the tides. And we, we can see as well that Zenyu's trying to look for this up smash, but he, Sinji's just simply not giving him the opportunity to really sneak it in. He's staying at this range where he can just kind of safely react, safely keep himself protected from a lot of critical moves that come out from Zenyu and Mario. Hey man, you can't anti-air me if I don't jump, right? And pretty much any time Sinji does jump, he's covering his landing with the Hydrant. Just the most annoying move sometimes. Down throw dare, there we go. Zenyu gonna finally take the first stock away from Sinji and he needs to pop off right now. Yeah, two stocks to one, this is not looking good. Wow, what a cool out on that landing with that grab. I feel like Zenyu tried to rush the punish on the grab that time because he had missed three or four of them already and yep. that time he actually just found his way into the lingering hitbox. What was previously probably the worst grab in the game is now actually quite good. Or at least better than most. Yeah. Very, very usable grab indeed. You almost see him getting another one there. Yep, but the grab is going to clash and just for them to neutral. Zenyu, even his spacing at the edge getting interrupted by the water coming out of the Fire Hydrant, man. This is such a difficult matchup if you're not intimately familiar with the ins and outs of this character. Okay, neutral air out of parry there for Zenyu, not even out of shield. Again, trying to fight some of this pressure off Sinji. I feel like almost on the offensive at this point, but he has this lead, just wants to juice every last bit of damage he can out of it. Once again, we see whenever Sinji is kind of focusing a little bit more on his normals, that's actually when Zenyu is able to better capitalize because he doesn't have the traps properly set up. Now, excellent with punish on that grab and a great catch on that landing. Zenyu is back in this game. Delicious frame trap right there from our Mario player from SoCal. Zenyu looking for a chance to get himself on the board. He's 100% down. He's got to deal with all this walling Pac-Man's bringing, but once he finds his way in, he can make that count for sure. The bell is back once again. All it takes is one hit, and that will be the end of the set, potentially. There it is! And there we go. Excellent stuff to Sinji taking that with a...